Hello class, this is Mom Says, signing on. Our topic is about item variables and data types. Let's begin. In Python, variables are created when you assign a value to it. Python has no command for declaring a variable. Variables are one of the fundamental building blocks of programs written in Python. Variables hold data in memory. They have names and they can be referenced by name. Variables also have types which specify what type of data they can store such as a string and the integer and they can be used in expressions that use operators such as positive and negative to manipulate their values. In Python, a variable is declared and assigned the value using the assignment operator equal. As you see on the screen, the variable being assigned to is on the left hand side of the operator in the value being assigned which can be an expression such as C plus 11. Look at the sample on the screen. This example is assigned numbers to variables but numbers are just one of several data types that Python supports. Notice there is no type declared for the variables. This is because Python is a dynamically typed language which means the variable type is determined by the data assigned to it. In the examples on screen, the C, E, and Z variables with the integer types capable of storing positive and negative whole numbers. Variable names are case sensitive and can use any letter, number, and the underscore character. However, they can start with a number. Cannot start with a number, take note. Variables are containers for storing data values. Unlike other programming languages, Python has no command for declaring a variable as I was saying earlier. A variable is created the moment you first assign a value to it and giving variable names. A variable can have a short name like C and E or a more descriptive name like age, camera, total volume, hours rate, and a lot more. So the rules for Python variables are as follows as what you see on the screen. First, a variable name must start with the letter or the underscore character. Yes, the underscore character is allowed at the start of a, a word. A variable name cannot start with a number as I have said. And then another, a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. So, alphanumeric characters from A to Z, 0 to 9, and you know what underscore is. Variable names are case sensitive. So, meaning the small case says and capital letter all caps says and the sentence case says, these are all different when it comes to the compiler or interpreter of our. Python. Take note again, variable names are case sensitive, so we have to be very careful in declaring our variable too. Assign value to multiple variables. Yes, Python allows you to assign values to multiple variables in one line. Just like what you see on the screen. So Z, E, Z variables were assigned with orange, banana, and cherry. Then we have here the output below. We can also assign the same value to multiple variables in one line. Uh, just like what you see in here. C equals E equals Z equals Madame. So when we print the variable 
CEZ and we have this output. Variables that are created outside of a function, just like on the screen. These are known as global variables. So global variables can be used by everyone, both inside of functions and outside. So as you can see here in our sample, me equals mom says, me here is a variable that is outside the function. If you create a variable with the same name inside the function, the variable will be local and can only be used inside the function. The global variable with the same name will remain as it was. So as you can see here in our example, we have two variables, me, outside the function, so that is the global variable, and we have me here inside the function. So this is now the local variable. In programming, data type is an important concept. Variables can store data of different types, and different types can do different things. You can get the data type of any object by using the type functions, just like in our example here. We use type function to determine the data type of our variable here which is num so as a result we have here the output which is plus n meaning the type of our variable num here is n or integer most programs manipulate numbers computers treat integer numbers and decimal numbers differently. Consider the code on your screen. Python creates from a built-in data type called int and decimals floating point numbers as instances of float. Python's built-in type function returns a variable's data type. The code outputs types to the screen 1.0. Now, may I remind you once again that when you type your program and you submit it to our virtual classroom, make sure that you keep or you write comment at the top of your code, specify or type your full name, and then comment also the title of the code or what is this code for and if for example the source code that you need to submit is very long comment also your name at the middle and at the last part of your source code that is to protect your work so that when others copy paste it at least there is the um, your name as an author is indicated on the program another you can also add comment on each on each line of your work to remind you as a programmer regarding the functionality or the purpose of the code it's up to you. You can add as many comments as you like as long as it could help you in the future to remind you of what is that code all about. Okay? The addition of the O to the end of one makes a big difference in how the programming language treats a value. The data type impacts how the value is stored in memory, how the processor handles the data when evaluating expressions, 
how the data relates to other data and what kinds of operations can be performed with it. In our example here on this screen, we have x equals 1 print type x. So we use the function type here to determine what is the data type of our x variable here. As you can see in the our output, the data type of our x is integer. So this is again as a discussed earlier this is our way to determine the data type of a certain variable <clears throat> declared in our program and then we also have here in our sample screen x equals 1.0 print type x so we would like to determine again what is the type of the variable x based on the sample value given to it or assigned to it which is 1.0 okay another common data type is the boolean type which holds the value true or false internally bool is treated as a special type of integer technically true has a value of 1 and false has a value of 0. Typically, booleans are not used to perform mathematical operations. Rather, they are used to make decisions and perform branching. Nevertheless, it is interesting to understand the relationship between types. Integers are subset of floating point numbers and booleans are a subset of integers. String variables can be declared either by using single or double quotes. Along with numbers, strings are among the most commonly used data types. A string is a collection of zero or more characters. Strings are commonly declared using single quotation marks, but double quotation marks may be used too. To determine the length of a string, to get the length of a string, we use the len function. Example, the len function returns the length of a string, as you can see on our screen. We have here a equals welcome to Python programming class print len a. So len here is the function that we use to determine the length of our variable a here. I mean we refer to the length of the value that is placed in our variable a. So in this example, so to check if the output here 36 is correct, just count the length, the letter from W, welcome to, up to the last part, the exclamation point. Here from here, from W to the last part, exclamation point, count the character here, including the spaces, and that should have a total of 36 so that is the how to get the length of our string value strings can be added to other strings an operation known as concatenation with the same class operator that adds two numbers on your screen hello and world display because of the plus operator so we used here on our sample here x equals hello plus plus word so we use the plus operator here to add the two strings hello and word so we declare print x that is why we have the output hello world here 
the x value is hello plus word. So by concatenating the two string, then we have this output. That's all for now. Special thanks to Microsoft Educator Community and W3 Schools for the input. Up next, Python sample applications. This is Mom says saying, if you can dream it, you can do it. Goodbye class.